Hey guys, it's Brittany, so welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a hair tutorial on how I curl my new extensions. So I got these extensions about two weeks ago from um, glamhair305.com. It was a um, Instagram account that my sister found um, and ordered hair from and she fell in love and I fell in love with the hair after she installed it. and. So I decided I would order some. I ordered it, I want to say, in like the first or second week of March is when I ordered it. And then I think I got it probably about a week and a half later. And it does say when you order, it does take 7 to 10 days for processing and shipping to go through. Um, but I got it, you know, within a decent amount of time. I have in about 3 and... two-thirds bundles maybe um, in lengths I have two 24 inches on the bottom then a 22 and then a 20 on the top um, and the 20 is what we ran out we just ran out of space so we couldn't fit all four bundles on um, but I really really love the hair it's super soft this is what the hair looks like in its um, natural state this is the Peruvian uh, Peruvian wavy hair I think I think. Yeah, this is. Sorry, I had to, I had to think about that. So this is the Peruvian Wavy, um, like I said, in 24, two 24s, a 22, and a 20 bundle. I don't know. I really like it. Normally, I just style this either bone straight with a straightening, straightening iron, but today I thought I would show you how I use my curling wand. Um, today I have the Hot Shot Tools by Hot Tools Curling Wand. This is the Pearl um wine I got it at Sally's it was on sale I believe for $39.99 um this is what it looks like it is the one inch to what is it the one and a quarter tapered curling iron nano ceramic titanium t technology in the black the black pearl series um it heats as high up to 450 degrees it has the swirly handle down here so it's really nice um, it doesn't get tangled up because it's always on the move and it always swirls so that's really nice as most styling products um, do now and the reason I like it so much is because it is a tapered barrel so as you can see it is um, thicker at the bottom and then it gets a little bit more narrow at the top my sister, again, was the one who put me on this. She has one of these. I feel like, though, hers is a little bit bigger, so it might be like an inch and a half um, up, but I don't know. But I really like the curls that I achieved with this. It doesn't take me hardly any time to get my hair done in the morning, um, and this hair holds curls so, so well, so I'm really loving it. I have experienced a little bit of shedding, but nothing to, like, deter you away from it mostly just from um, like being tangled in a style or something like that but otherwise it doesn't really get tangled very easily unless you are just like whipping your hair back and forth up and down and having your hair all in it all the time manipulating it then it can kind of get tangled but otherwise it doesn't tangle very um, it doesn't really tangle I've experienced minimal shedding and I just really love it y'all um, I didn't color the hair so this hair is a little bit lighter than my natural hair but even in like bright sunlight outside unless you're really looking like hey hey I see you like you can't tell that it's a different color so um I don't know I really really love it and I think I want to order like a shorter length because I want to color it um I've got a trip coming up to Vegas next month and I really just want to color some hair but I don't want it to be really long I think I want like a shorter like a long bob or just like Mm, I don't know. I'm excited. So anyway, without further ado, I will show you how I style this hair. If you guys have any questions or comments or want to know um, any links to where I got this hair from, all of that will be down below. Leave comments for future videos, questions, concerns. I'll answer all of your questions and I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, I think this is going to be a talk through. I'm pretty sure. But if it's not, I'll see you guys on the end when it's all done. <laughs> Alright, have a good day guys. Bye. Okay, um, so to get started with this hair, 
Um, I actually just washed this hair this morning, so this is, like I said before, um, this is the hair in its natural state. I let it air dry and went to my son's um, soccer game this morning and had the windows down so the wind kind of helped air dry it as well. Um, and it's just a really pretty natural wave. And I would wear this natural wave just like this out the door, um, just on days when I don't feel like styling, but when I feel like, you know, being a little extra fancy, then I go ahead and style it. So what I do is I just part it from the back into two sections like this, just to help keep me more control, give me more control of the hair. And then I start from the back section of hair. I just take a big chunk like this and I roll this hair forward so that it stays out of the way and with a butterfly clip, clip it out of the way. Now this chunk of hair is way too big um, for the size curling wand that I have. And I'm looking in my viewfinder because I don't have a mirror big enough to style my hair for you guys in. Um, so if I'm not directing at you, that's why I'm looking in the viewfinder. Um, but what I do, like I said, this, this chunk of hair right here is way too big to curl around. I mean, you could probably cut this in half and do um, like, you could get like beachy waves, but I actually like to make really tight curls and just let them fall out, um, over the course of a couple of days on their own. So what I like to do is take about half this section like this from the top and my left hand going behind my head and putting the curling wand behind the hair, I wrap it away from my face, just like this. And I don't really take the time to do like a flat wrap around because I am, I like the way the curls do when they kind of, the hair twists around the barrel as you're wrapping it around. Um, and you just go like this. I totally forgot to spray this section of my hair with heat protectant. So remember that next time <laughs> when you're curling your hair. So what I like to do is just leave it on there for a few seconds, catch it in my hands, and you end up with just the perfect little curly curl and I just throw that behind my hair um, or behind my back to keep it out of the way and then I've got the next section ready to go so normally what I do is I'll spray a whole section of my hair down but since I forgot to spray this section I'm just gonna do this little piece and then when I take it down and I'm using the silk elements with silk protein mega silk heat protection spray um, it smells kind of funky. I used to love the smell, but now <clears throat> I'm not a fan. But anyway, it is for um, heat styling, helps protect from heat damage, uses flat irons, blow dryers, or any heated appliance, provides a luxurious shine, which it definitely does. I absolutely love using this on my natural hair whenever I flat iron my hair. Um, it provides just this silky shine texture. It is gorgeous. So just run the comb through to make sure you have no tangles in your hair and your left hand when you're working on the right side of your head, behind your head, and wrap that bad boy around. This did come with like a um, protective sleeve so you could store it like if you um, are running out the door and you don't like to leave your, your curling tools out, it comes with a protective sleeve that you can use to store it so that it doesn't like catch anything on fire, which is very nice. And there you have it. This is not the top to wear, you can't see the hair. But anyway, there you have it. It's like just the perfect little curl. You throw that behind your head, or behind your back rather, and you move on to the next section. So. And I just like to finger comb through it to make sure it's not completely knotted run a fine tooth comb or like paddle brush through left hand behind and just go to town
So another thing that I wanted to show you guys really quick is when I'm doing my hair, whenever I have extensions in like this, I usually do a perimeter section of leave out because I do a partial weave. Um, I, whenever I'm curling my hair like this, if my hair isn't long enough to blend into the hair, I just try to wrap it around the barrel as best as I can, just at least so it's kind of curling in the same direction. And then it just kind of blends out pretty, pretty well. Otherwise, I don't really worry about what my natural hair is doing underneath it because it's being covered up by all this hair on top. So, just a little, little tippy tip. So the top section here, that hair is pretty much seen, so I try to wrap that around as best as I can around the barrel at the root, up towards the top uppermost part of the hair, just so that it kind of blends in and, and swirls back the way that I want it to. Um, but otherwise, and I like this look with these curls with just like this elastic headband that I'm wearing. Just like a black one or any color one really um, and it just kind of holds all the hair back and in place I don't have to worry about like my bangs and stuff unless I'm trying to be ultra super glam but this is just kind of like my everyday curl look I, I rock these curls and this is pretty much what a whole section looks like when it's curled um, you can go back in like if you see pieces that need to be touched up or curls that are not doing what they're supposed to do um, you can go back in but I actually like curls that are kind of not in the place that they're supposed to be because it just makes it look like more of an easier um, like easy going I didn't try so hard to curl my hair kind of look um, but like I said I like to keep the curls really super tight like this and let them cool really tight and then I go in with a big tooth comb at the end and um, just kind of style it and put the finishing touches on. So I'm going to do the other side and then I'll be right back.
So we've reached the final section and just like the other side, once you get up to your natural hair that's in the front or in the top, just kind of curl it around as best as you can and get those bad boys curled, yo. Comb your hair into it. And just take the time to really direct your natural hair into the curl. And swirl that baby around, boo. And you're done. As far as the curling part is concerned. So we will let that curl rest for just a moment. Now you have, um, while these curls are finishing up over here and cooling down and resting, um, you have a couple options. You can use your fingers or a wide tooth comb. A wide tooth comb will give you more of a um, like soft, gentle, flowing thing. <laughs> why, am I, why am I still doing this? Um, when you use a styling tool or a product or a comb or brush or something, it'll make everything more um, uniform is the, is the look. Everything will give you a soft wave and everything like that, as opposed to when you're using your fingers, your fingers kind of just spread them out and you can pick them out and roll them and do whatever you want and really uh, customize the style to however it is that you like to style your hair. So these ones are pretty much cool so I'll just take it each side to my hair again and like I said I like the really tight curls um, in the beginning and over the course of the week like I said this hair holds a curl so 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 well um, you'll start off with really tight curls like this you can walk out the door and just leave your curls like this each individual curl defined in and of itself all going you know away from the face or you can comb it all together um, it just kind of depends on your mood so today I'm just gonna take my fingers through the bottom and shake it up. Like so. And you see they're kind of all melding together, going in the same direction, but still you can see the defined curl, everything that's going in the same direction. Another thing that you could do would be to coat your hands with a little bit of argan oil, which is actually what I'm going to do next, because this hair, even though I washed it today and I put in a li little bit of a leave-in conditioner just to spray, um, it feels a little bit dry, probably just from the shampoo that I used. So literally like a dime size amount, that is all the oil that you need rub it into your hands and just pull it through. I like to focus it mainly on the under section of the hair because that's the section that kind of rubs against your back. Do you guys ever have that issue like with long hair it rubs against your back and it's moving and that's the side that gets tangled up really easy? So or you know that's the the portion of your hair that gets tangled really easily so I like to focus most of the oil underneath the underside And then just style it as desired. You can walk it all to the back, fluff it out, and that's it. So that is the curling tutorial. That's what I use. That's how I keep my hair styled. Basically from a day-to-day -day, um, standpoint, I do like to wear this hair straight occasionally, but it is really long and kind of fly away when I do. So at least this way it's kind of more tamed. It looks pretty all day long. So if you guys want to see any more hair tutorials or you want to know any more about this hair, I'll leave full description of the hair down and a link where you can buy it and the type of hair that I ordered as well as all of my social media links and you guys come and follow me, chat, I love talking to you 
and come and hang out. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope I'll see you soon and see you in the next video. Bye.